before we start using deep paint, we can begin with modeling. The building, incense burner, and fence in the scene were created using basic modeling in Blender. This tutorial is not about modeling, so we will skip these modeling processes. However, it's worth noting that deep paint does not have high requirements for model precision. We can create relatively rough models with fewer details without significantly affecting the final result. Additionally, the rocks and stone lanterns in the scene are free models from Bridge, the website link in the description. These models were imported into Blender, and I removed their textures, then used deep paint to retexture them. This is an important approach. Any model can be retextured using deep paint. As for the tree, it's a bit more complex, so we'll go into detail later. Once we're ready, we can start creating with deep paint. First, ensure you have the deep paint installed in Blender. Click on Add-on in the End panel, Find Global Settings. Click Add World, and add a Sun White. Make sure you switch to the EV Render and enter the rendered view. Then add DPM to all meshes. Next, we can start coloring. The best way is to give them a base color first. Choose your color, select the objects, and click Set Vertex Color to add the base color. You can then click Vertex Paint to use the brush to paint. Here I found that the brush affected a very large area because DPM is vertex painting. When there are too few vertices in the mesh, each vertex has a larger influence range. We can switch back to Edit Mode to add more vertices to the mesh. Or we can use Deep Paint to do that. Find the Modifier menu and find Triangulation. Take a look at the current vertex distribution. Click Triangulation and check the vertex distribution again. It should now be much more uniform. We apply the same process to other meshes. While painting, holding shift switches from the brush to blur, allowing us to smudge colors naturally. For the ginkgo tree, I first used Blender's built-in add-on Add Curve Sapling Tree Gin to create the trunk. Ensure this add-on is activated, Shift A Curve, you'll find Sapling Tree Gene. I chose Japanese Maple as the trunk. This add-on has many adjustable parameters. You can explore it yourself. Once we finish the tree trunk, convert it to a mesh and enter edit mode to adjust it until we achieve a satisfactory shape. I duplicated some trunks to serve as roots, giving the design more variety. Next, we copy part of the trunk, separate it, and distribute it as branches along the main trunk. Like the building, we add DPM material and base color to them. Now for the leaves. Here we need to use one of Deep Paint's key drawing features. Press E and choose Add Blank to enter Draw Mode. Press S and select an appropriate brush, the Fill Brush. If you don't need to see this brush, click Import Custom Brush Pack to get it. Let's start drawing the ginkgo leaves. I tried to draw leaves from different perspectives, so we can see various forms of leaves from different angles. After finishing, press E and choose GP to fill mesh to convert it to a mesh. As usual, we add DPM material and base color to it. Now, 
let's use Deep Paints Tree Jane. Select the branches, click Tree Jane, and in the modifier options, use the eyedropper tool to sample these leaves, distributing them onto the branches. We can use weight painting to determine where leaves grow by selecting weight distribution in density factor. adjusting rotation values, etc., until we're satisfied. Next, click the tree and repeat the previous steps. But this time, select the branches as objects, letting them cover the entire trunk. Adjust like before until satisfaction. I adjusted the shade and AO settings in the DPM material of the leaves to make the lighting effects just how I wanted them. I want fallen ginkgo leaves on the ground, so I used Trejan on the floor as well. Yes, I think this function is versatile. I copied a set of leaves, adjusted their mesh to lie flat on the ground. As always, increase the number of vertices on the floor then in Weight Paint Mode, draw the areas where we want the leaves to appear. Under Modifier, select our flattened leaf group as Object, and choose the Painted Weight Map. Adjusting Rotation Values, etc. to achieve the desired effect. I continued painting weights to add more leaves. The walls looked empty, so I found an image of the Chinese character Forth, imported it into Blender, adjusted its opacity, and placed it on the wall. We used the fill brush to trace it out, making sure to select surface so the text adheres to the wall. Convert it to a mesh, add DPM material and color. Also, I selected another brush to add edge decorations to the wall, following the same way as with the text, but using a line brush instead. Let's bring in the other models now. It's the same process, add DPM material and base color to them. Next comes animation. First add a timeline window below. Now we can play the animation and observe the results. For the tree, find the tree gen modifier and locate the animation speed option. Simply adjust this value, click the play button in the timeline, and the tree moves. Deep paint is amazing. We also want the leaves to fall. Recall the leaves we drew earlier. In edit mode, isolate one of the most attractive looking leaf as the falling one. Create a new plane, raise it up, and navigate to particles properties. Create a particle system for this plane, setting render as to object in the emitter section, choosing the isolated leaf as instance object. Let's preview the falling leaves, adjusting number to the desired amount, and frame duration to the preferred playback length.
to make the leaves fly away rather than drop straight down. Press Shift to A, select Force Field, Wind, and add Wind Strength in the Wind properties to see the leaves being blown around. For a more natural falling effect, press Shift to A, select Force Field, Turbulence, scale it appropriately, and adjust strength in the properties panel to make the leaves sway in the wind. You might want to disable show emitter to hide the plane. Additionally, I added smoke to the incense burner using Lan Hubert Asteam K Pack. The link is in the description. Lastly, Deep Paint conveniently sets up the camera and track. Find Render Cam and click it. Display the hidden track and visual focus. We can now adjust the track and visual focus. Click the button to place the camera on the track and we can start playing. It seems to move too fast and covers too small area, so let's adjust the speed. And we reduce frames under path animation in the track properties. Activate the camera to view when using the camera perspective to adjust the position without affecting the track's operation or speed. Now we're done. We just need to render the animation. Author Garku's documentation on Deep Paint is very detailed complete with videos, explanations, more information in the description. A fantastic add-on, definitely worth owning and learning. Thanks for watching. See you next time.